What's going on guys, T Torres back here for another uh, YouTube video. <clears throat> so today's uh, mod that we're gonna be doing to the car is one that I'm super excited about. I uh, picked this up on Cyber Monday, saved about 50 to 60 bucks and also got free shipping so I'm super excited about that. Comment down below if you think, uh, think you know exactly what I got. So like always before we get uh, started with today's video, um, I do want to thank each and every single one of you for you know me, allowing me to make content and uh, my subscriber, my fan base, whatever you want to call it, is continually starting to grow and grow and grow and getting bigger and bigger. So I thank all my my new subscribers and then all my subscribers in the past. Thank you so much. So if you're stopping in for the first time, please hit that subscribe button and turn on your uh, notifications so every time I post a video, you get notified of it. All right, so let's see what we got in in today's uh, in today's package not very big can anybody guess right off the top uh what this is just go down a little bit okay let's see i have been waiting for this it took about a week to get it from the time order on cyber monday the tracking was not the most honest so i didn't really know when it was coming and i've, I've known people who've had a problem with that in the past too that i guess they're just not updating the tracking like they're supposed to on this particular item so there you go Oh, it's taped on the side too. That doesn't matter. Golly. Alrighty. Let's take a look and see what we got. Boom, there it is. The K-Tuner V1. I am super excited on, on getting this product. So let's see, let's see exactly what comes in the box. Close that knife up. It's a small little box. So as you can see, you have the uh, the actual o o o ODB2 uh, plug-in. Then you have your data cable. Uh, looks like we got some K-Tuner stickers and some more K-Tuner stickers. And then I guess this is the this is the end user kit. So here's my card. So I got this from Vit uh, Vit Viper. And with all that, I got his uh, on Black Friday. Um, he he was running a special on these on this the V1 uh, dongle and his Stage One tune. I think I, literally, I think I got this shipped to my door for four hundred and four dollars, maybe four hundred and five dollars. So you really can't beat that price. So I had to jump on this. And I know some of you guys are probably wondering, uh, you know, why why didn't you go with the uh, the V2 for the display? It just wasn't something that I was really, you know, fancy about. I didn't really want to have it because where the um, where the V2 goes, I have a bunch of stuff that sits in my car right here. I actually utilize this space, and I feel like if I had the V2, I wouldn't be able to uh, utilize that space like it is. So, got to throw my plug in there. That's my, my YouTube channel. And then, if you want to stay up to date with everything that I do, make sure that you go uh, follow me on Instagram. All right, now that I have shown you uh, what came in the mail, which is the, the K-Tuner V1 uh, dongle, flash dongle, whatever you want to call it, um, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step of how to uh, install the actual K-Tuner to your car, how to marry it to your car. And then once we have all that done, uh, well, before we even do that, we're going we're gonna to download the software on the, uh, on the computer. I'm going to also walk you through that, you know, whether you have a Mac or a Windows computer. I personally have a Mac computer, so I know the software downloading process is a, is a little bit different if you have a Mac. Um, so once we do that, when we get all that set up, we're then gonna take the laptop into the car with us, marry the um, K-Tuner to the car, and then I think Vit Viper, in order to get my stage one tune from him, you have to give him, I think the, there's a VIN number for the K-Tuner itself, and then I guess there's a number ID that goes with the car. You send that to him in an email, and then I guess he'll he'll send you the tune, and then I'll go through how, how to actually put the tune onto the K-Tuner and then transfer it to the car. So um, stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna get we're, I'm gonna go get my laptop, and we're gonna get to downloading the software. All right, guys. So like I mentioned, I was gonna show you guys how to uh, install the K-Tuner if you have a if you have a MacBook. But I have a MacBook Air and I don't have a disk drive, so it makes this process 10 times harder. So for the purpose of this video, I just went and uh, my buddy let me borrow his Windows laptop <clears throat> and I went ahead and downloaded the, the K-Tuner software. So I am going to, uh, I'm gonna show you guys on that computer and um, later on today or tomorrow, I have a buddy who we're gonna, through backup or 
no, through boot camp, we're gonna put Windows Windows 10 on my MacBook Air. <clears throat> so after researching that entire process, you can't put uh, the Windows platform on a MacBook Air because we don't have a disk drive. So you have to, you know, if you have somebody who has a, a disk drive that's you know powered by USB, then I can do it. So that's what my buddy has. So we're, I think we're gonna do that tonight, so I can have that on my computer. But I've already downloaded um, the K Tuner software. I already, you know. Made my made my account, registered it, and stuff like that. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys on the GoPro. Excuse me, we're gonna hop on the interstate and we're gonna do um, we're gonna do a couple pulls uh, from the factory tune, and then I'm going to uh, flash the ECU for the 19 to 23 psi. So it's 19 uh, regular, and then when you go into sport mode, it goes into the 20 to the 23 psi. So um, yeah, so let's get let's get to uh, doing some pulls on the uh, the factory map difference um, you know between the factory and this tune so here we go we're gonna get on the interstate right now all right so there you go there was there was a pool right there that was that was pretty that was pretty good uh, to be from the factory. So I think we got up to like I don't know 80. So the next time we're next time we're gonna come around, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do it in in sport mode and see what happens. GoPro started. Man, I got a I got a minivan in front of me. That sucks. Hopefully this mini minivan will go and get out of the way. The first pull was perfect because there was nobody nobody getting onto the ramp. So here we go, sport mode. Let's get it. Let that minivan go ahead of me just a little bit. And let's go. Remember, we are going uphill, so. And we have traffic. Too much traffic. So I don't know if this is the factory, but on sport mode this time, the max boost when I looked down was at like 13 psi. So that must be that must be a factory setting. <clears throat> so anyways, I know that wasn't a good video for comparison for the sport mode, but we're gonna go back home. We're gonna flash these cars. <clears throat> All right. So as you guys can see right here, we have the uh, the K tuner app. If you don't have it already, just make sure you go to ktuner.com and go to downloads, and then you can pull it right there. And then here is the actual uh, the V1 dongle that we're going to use that we're going to plug in here in just a second. Go ahead and get K tuner open. So once you have this open, this is what your screen is going to look like. Sorry if the picture quality is not that good. We're doing this kind of in the sun. So what you're going to want to do is I'm going to go over here and you're going to hit this. See if the camera can pick that up. You're going to hit the new file button. Okay, you know, come over here. Obviously, you're going to click 2017 Honda Civic Si. Whoops, camera lost focus. Hang on. And then you're going to hit the plus button. And then another screen is going to come up. And you're going to click the factory 5, whatever this is. And then scroll down here. You're going to hit next. Okay, and then this is where all the fun, this is where all the fun comes in at. So as you can see right there, you have you have uh, starter dual 19 and a half to 23 psi, starter 23 psi, starter 21 and a half psi, and starter 19.5 psi. So obviously the one that we're going to be doing, we're going to do the the end user starter mount improved launching 19.5 psi normal, and then 23 psi in sport mode that has 91 octane plus. So. So now, now that we know which one we're going to do, let's go ahead and get the, the actual K-Tuner uh, connected to the car. Alright, so now you're going to take the K-Tuner and plug it in. Make sure that the actual word K-Tuner is, is facing out away from you. Okay, you got that plugged in. Make sure you take, make sure you take your cable wire, go ahead and plug it in. And then now you'll see on the K-Tuner, we'll you'll see some flashing lights. That's completely normal. Don't worry about all that. So now that you have that all plugged in, you're gonna take the other end and plug it into the laptop. Okay, take the other end of the K-Tuner. 
plug it into the laptop. All right, so now you now have you heard that it is now connected. All right, so what you're going to do next is you're going to want to put the car in accessory mode. So one more click. Okay, now it's on and the actual K tuner can be read. So the next thing you're going to do is let me see if I can get this zoomed in. Come on much sun out here anyways you're gonna click the since I want to do the starter dual highlight it it'll turn blue hit next okay and then you're gonna come up here and you're, you're gonna hit uh, see if you can see this uh, it's not gonna it's not wanting to you're gonna want to come up here and hit this connect button And then down here, you see your status says disconnected. So you need to, the flash, the K tuner needs to connect to your car. All right, so why, why aren't you connecting? It keeps on flashing connected, disconnected. Hang on one second. All right, so now that we finally, I had to, uh, I had to go back in and uninstall K tuner, reinstall it, and now it's finally reading uh, the K tuner. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna hit connect. It's already, it's already connecting. The indicator uh, down there is green, so that's how we know that we're connected. Okay. Next thing you want to do, like I showed you before, go over here, hit the plus button. Okay. So this is the 2017 Civic Si. So we're gonna click that. Click next. Make sure that down here you do have, uh, you know, green showing that you're, you're, you are connected. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the starter dual 19 and a half, 23 PSI. Click next. Okay. It's gonna do its thing and then the map is actually gonna load up. So if you don't wanna mess with anything else, you don't wanna mess with any of the fuel corrections, uh, uh, ignition corrections, advanced features, anything like that, you're literally just gonna come over here and it's gonna say upload base code. And then you're just going to hit upload base code. Are you sure you want to erase your ECU and upload base code? Make sure you're flashing a file that matches your model year. Please make sure you let the entire process finish and follow the instructions. So hit yes. Okay. And it's going to say connected. And then now the computer, or excuse me, now the ECU is going to start uh, being flashed as we speak. So all this crazy mumbo jumbo that's going to go on in the dash, don't worry about it. That is completely normal. And I think this takes about about 60 seconds or so. And then once the once we're done getting flashed, um, it's going to ask you to turn the car completely off and then back on into accessory mode, and then you'll know you're going. So down here, uh, let me see if the camera will focus on it. You have a little part that says, "Oh come on," it says erasing ECU, but of course it's not wanting to. Uh, I'm wanting to focus on. It. Let me see if I can get it for you now. Yeah, here we go. ECU erased. It's still going through all its little mini things, so don't don't be alarmed by that. All right, so now we actually have um, the computer now says reflashing. Let's see if I can get a good zoom in on that. So it's reflashing, and of course we're at nine percent, so we have to get to a hundred percent. So while that's flashing, I'll just go out on a ramble. So I don't know why, but for some reason, uh, the K tuner was not, um, wasn't, wasn't connecting. So I kept playing with it, playing with it. And I was like, I was like, screw it. So I just deleted the K tuner, uh, app and redownloaded it and then remirrored it to the, you know, the car and all that stuff. And, and now finally it's connected and we're reflashing the map. So sorry if that, if that up until that point, the, the video was everywhere. I was getting super frustrated and thankfully it's finally working. We're at, we're at 30% ECU flash. So I'll catch back up with you guys when, uh, we're, when we're at hundred percent, uh, reflash. Okay, here's the message you'll get once the flash is done. It says, please key the vehicle off and back on before hitting okay. So we're gonna do exactly what it says. We're gonna key the vehicle off. Everything goes off. Then we're gonna key the vehicle back on. Everything's loaded back up just fine. And then let's hit, you're gonna hit okay.
And so now you now have the the starter to uh, the 19 and a half in 19 and a half in 23 psi on sport mode. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna unplug everything, and then we're gonna go down the road. And we're gonna do some pulls and see what the car feels like. Now I'm super excited to see uh, exactly how the car feels right now. I've heard nothing but good stuff about this flash. All right, guys. So we have just flashed a car uh, with the 19 and a half and 23. So. Uh, PSI so whenever you hit sport mode you go into 23 PSI whenever you're not in sports mode you are getting 19 and a half pounds of boost and let me just tell you just from the time that I pulled out of my neighborhood to get to the interstate uh, I can definitely tell everything about this car is better you know the rev hang is gone the throttle response is better and I did a quick little pull I didn't record it but we are definitely getting the 19 PSI um, without being on sport mode so that that was for that was true all right so we are pulling on to the Interstate now, got the GoPro going. All right, let's see what she's got. Keep in mind, we are going uphill and there's a guy in front of me, so that wasn't a very good pull, but get over these people. So that wasn't a very good pull because there was there was just too much traffic in front of me. So we'll do we'll do we'll do one more lap. We'll put it in sport mode and then uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Here goes sport mode. We'll do a third gear pull. All right, here we go. Here goes sport mode. We'll do a third gear pull. Here we go. Let's get it. I was uh, super impressed. Man, that sport mode at 23 and a half, uh, at, tw at 23 psi is, is yeah, I like that. Brings me back, brings back old times like I was in the uh, uh, Focus ST. That was definitely good. Hopefully the GoPro got some good footage of that, and we can actually make sure and see if the uh, if we actually reached uh, 23 pounds of boost. So I'm going to get back to the house and then I'm going to give a rundown of everything we did and then uh, my opinion on as far as what we've done as far as, you know, bone stock car that's been flashed, uh, you know, 19 and a half PSI on not sport mode and then sport mode 23 PSI. All right. So as you guys just saw, that's we uh, in today's video, we flashed the uh, 2017 Honda Civic Si, your 10th gen Civic Si. And I got this, uh, I got the, the V1 dongle and uh, a stage one tune from Vip Viper. I think it was on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. I paid $404 for the, the V1 dongle shipped to my door plus Vip Viper stage one tune. So after I get all my goodies in, um, that's when I'll sit down with Vip Viper and actually get my tune because I don't want to do it just for having a stock engine. That would be pointless to me. So yeah, $404 shipped to my door. Yeah, you can't beat that price. And um, I know the video may not have been that clear because we had a huge glare on the the monitor but if you guys have any questions or comments uh, about the k tuner the v1 or the v2 comment down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and get your questions answered just make sure um whenever you have your view whenever you have your k tuner plugged in make sure you have your car in accessory mode and then look at the very left hand side of the screen your laptop your computer whatever and make sure that it says connected and then remember hit the plus button go to new tune select your vehicle whichever one you may have and then it'll have you know base maps that are already loaded. And like I said, I chose the one, the 19 and a half psi, and then when you're in sport mode, uh, the 23 psi. So, and the car drives so much better. You know the notorious rev hang that everybody talks about. The rev hang is gone. The turbo lag is highly improved. The throttle response is improved. I mean, hell, just the car idling um, seemed a lot better. It was a lot more. It had a really it really changed the dynamic of the car. It had a more sporty feel to it. Uh, everything about it was just phenomenal. So, like I said, if you guys have any questions at all about about the K tuner, just comment down below, and uh, I will definitely get to you and get and get you an answer. So, uh, make sure if you're stopping into the channel for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on your turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on every time I post a video. Um, once again, thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to get my channel to grow. We we're almost at 2,000 subscribers, which was my milestone. I want to get to 2,000 subscribers before, uh, before the new year begins, so you guys help me get there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Yeah. Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that. Ballin', doing this is my car.